a big thank you to Kevin, Kev from Akoi Enthusiast. Um, we've received our parcel today, thank you so much. We're about to open it up and have a look, see what's in, because really we don't actually have a clue. Um, so it will be a surprise. Just want to say a big thank you. And uh, we're going to do the unboxing now. <laughs> so we have some shrimp. Oh, they enjoy that. Some more. More shrimp. <laughs> A sticker. Uh -huh. Stick that on the down by the pond. Some pom poms, yeah. balls. Blanket answer. I don't need that right now. I don't know if anybody else is, but we're we're having a trouble with blanket weed, and I have just spied our first mug. Our very first mug. Oh wow! Thank you, Kev. That's our very first koi tuber mug. Another one of those oh, high protein. Another one of the garlic. They like the garlic because I've crushed up garlic and put it with. Um, what did I put it with? Cucumber. And they ate it. You made it kit. Wow, we didn't expect this much, Kev. This is amazing. Cohen's buffer. I can't believe all this. Mm. And loads of what's it? <laughs> They'll come in handy for something. Hey, they don't taste very enough. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Only you would do that. Wow. That's amazing. Those have lost us through the summer. I doubt it. I reckon they'll last us the next few weeks. I doubt it. <laughs> you can tip those in with the um, other food I've got. Mm -hmm. Six mil, six mil. Oh, they're all six mil. And all the fish in the pond will be alright with that. But I've just said, I've literally just dosed my pond yesterday mm. with this stuff as I got bad blanket weed and string algae. So far, I've not had to use this because my KH has always been around, it started off at 10, it come down to 7, and it's now running around 5, 6. So, mm, that's great. Our first ever koi cup. Oh, you never know, we may get a collection now. Mm. Someone might send more. It might start off something you never know. Go down there and do it.
show you flowers you've done. Yeah, been busy this week. if you can zoom in, you've got Lee, old Lee Hadley on. Mm. Yeah, we're going to try and zoom in. There we go. Stop looking at my butt. I don't know. <laughs> so we've got a green enthusiast camp up there. And then over down here. Can't see it as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's down there. It's up there. Oh, there it is. It's a cool soldier. You're doing okay, apart from the uh, the old weed. Mm. That's it. Coming out. <laughs> Got the crumbs, tools, things. Already busy as usual. Ollie. Glorious weather today. Beautiful. Excuse me. Mm. So we've had one and two fish in the past couple of months that have had ulcers that we found very, very difficult to treat. And um, from what we've been picking up from other koi tubers, they've had similar problems. So I wondered if anybody knows what the problem could be, because we've treated the pond for flukes. Um, the only thing we haven't done, have we pp No. No, we've not pp the pond because we're not keen about doing that. But we've done everything else. It's horrible. Vince, no troubles. <laughs> yeah, Vince. <laughs> You feel your pain. Vince, if you've got any uh, advice about ulcers, we seem to be getting them around, some around their fins and um, some around their underneath. So, if you've got any uh, advice. Let us know. So once again, thank you for to Kev, the McCoy enthusiast. A question for you. Mm -hmm. Treated for blanket weed yesterday. When can you redose blanket weed again? Answers on the bottom, guys. So. If you've got any advice about the ulcers <laughs> and the uh, blanket a, weed. Skate. Skate the same yeah. So if you are having the same problems and you found a, a solution for the ulcers, let, let us know. I think one seems to be getting a lot better. I 
so until then we don't want to put the grow ones in there until we've sorted out the issue with the ulcers so and we have tried everything Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> No, I've not, I've, oh, not, I've not bought absolute floating pellets. So this is a new one with, for them. They're going, uh, they're going for it though. 36 protein, 6% oils and fats, 4% fibres and 5% ash. I'll, I'll mix this in with my um, coppins that I've got. Yeah. So the garlic will uh, disperse amongst all the other. Mm. So they'll get a mix of coppins growth, top koi, health, mm. colour enhancer. Uh, I've bought every single top uh, koi coppins one. So I've, I have tried garlic before. I've chopped up garlic with cucumber. Come on, you're scaring the fish, Ollie. And they've eaten it. So, let's see. They demolished the lettuce the other day. So, yeah, thank you for, uh, for the uh, prize, Kev. Okay. Really appreciate that. I definitely weren't expecting as much. So we shall see you next time. Right. Excuse the noise. That air pump does Jossie's wildlife pond and the IBC over there. So bit noisy but this is my koi feed it's got six mil and three mil it's got all of the coppins you can imagine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip all this that we've won off of Kev from Coin Enthusiast in so the garlic that's in these tubs will leach out into all the other food so I'm going to put the lid back on I'll get back to you in a sec Oh, that's that picked up and all shaken and shooken around. So there is some cockney koi um, three mil pellets in here that I've managed to get given. So literally everything is in here mixed coppins top koi health grower color and now kev's absolute clo absolute clover leaf where's it made by yeah clover leaf absolute all those three tips tubs i should say all emptied into there and mixed up that's <coughs> 
and that's full. So, Joss's fry we've got from <coughs> it's called Detlin Koi Show. We're in there. And there's my uh, dechlorinators, my homemade one. Cut the end off, fill it back up with activated carbon granules, and there's that one. Uh, I'll see if I can uh, show you the coif, what they're like now in the IBC. Get back to you in a sec. What I will say, my next door neighbour, he's enjoyed our pond so much that he's even built himself a little goldfish pond. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them very clearly. No, they've all, all run away. <laughs> run away behind. So, when they get bigger, I've got to get a net for this to cover this over. So I've only, don't normally have it up this high. But I thought it was silly. I went out and come back and it's up this high. So, catch in a bit. Okay, guys, so I think that's the end. I think don't think there's anything else to report really, but everybody's doing okay. Koi's doing okay. My pond's doing all right. I've got UV light in there and it's doing so much better. Running through it. So for those of, um, who are observant, you might notice we've changed the water port from there just just over there to ooh, yeah. uh, done that so it's easier to change uh, clean out the filter um, anybody who lives in our area has got a bigger box filter we would we are looking for one we, we really need one so that I can keep this cleaner not doing too bad. No, it's a lot better than it used to be. So, yeah. And the field, the as I say, the UV light has uh, cleared up the algae, green water. Clean, cleaned up loads in there. So much clearer. I can actually see the fish now. So. And they've been jiggy jiggy. Oh yeah, yeah. They have. They've been spawning like mad. So, yeah. You got anything to say, Ollie? Huh? Well, Ollie. Are you ignoring me? Too busy, guys. It's too busy. Busy Collie. Ooh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Okay, right, we're going to say goodbye now, properly. <laughs> Take care, guys. Stay safe. Stay well. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>